How's it going, guys? All right, so I'm here with a Game Fan magazine. Now, this is one of the newer Game Fan magazines from the re-release, and I'm basically here to talk about that reissuing of Game Fan, as um, it is the year 2014, and I decided to look at some of my older magazines that I've bought over the last few years and uh, see where their prices are at. Uh, this one I bought. Um, basically December of 2010, so uh, three years ago now, um, and I was actually um, surprised to find just a good story to go along with uh, this magazine. So this one right here is Game Fan, this is, um, so there was, there was Die Hard Game Fan, which was throughout the, you know, the retro years, then that ended sometime, I think around 2000 maybe, um, not sure exactly. Um, so and so in um, April of 2010, it was David Halverson relaunched this magazine. So what you're looking at here is Volume One, Issue Number Five. In April 2010, he relaunched this magazine. It was a bi-monthly magazine. First two thirds of the issue were Game Fan, and if you turned it over like this, it was the third of the back was um, for movies. Um, that lasted for two issues or three issues or so. Um, anyways, up till this issue, issue number five here, um, it was released bi-monthly. And once they got to this issue, uh, they were having some serious um, advertising revenue problems. So the sixth issue after this, this was released in December of, I believe, December of 2010. Um... The sixth issue was released eight months later in August of 2011. Um, and, it, and by then it, they had an entirely new editing team. And issue um, seven was actually assembled by three people. So there is an issue six and a seven after this one that are physical. Um, so issue seven was released three months after issue number six being released in December of 2011. So basically issue six and seven were released in 2011, one being in April, in August, one being in December. So two, two issues got released in 2011. Um, let's see here. Uh, so there's the three people working on it. Two more issues got made, eight and nine, I believe. And they were just down PDF files only, just so you could read them, whatever. And that was it. Um, so it was just interesting to see, you know, just that I bought this just because just the quality of um, its production. I mean, they really did a great job putting this magazine together and this reissuing here. Um, there's some some pretty good uh, hand drawn stuff. I'm going to show some of the splatter house here there's a particular splatter house picture I want to show right here look at that one it's pretty cool so none of these reissued game fan magazines are for sale on eBay I have no idea how much any of them go for I haven't checked prices on these since maybe a year after I bought this one I might have checked prices on this in 2011 or 12 don't remember if I saw them or what, but um, you know, it was a $6.99 magazine, and they really should have been charging a lot more for this. They should have charged $9.99 for this because it's just a really good publication. And you know, people working were complaining about not having food in their bellies or being able to pay for the roof over their head, you know, or this company not being able to provide that for them. That being said, people who, who left the company. Look at that dirty pair. Some anime stuff there. So yeah, just, you know, there's so many magazines out there um, that just come and go really quickly. But for something like this, you know, you'll never see Nintendo Power try to come back and do something like this. <laughs> but for a single person to, you know, want to bring back those glory days or whatever and, uh, try to get something going again. You gotta commend them, but it just, uh, there just wasn't enough work done. I, I think if they wouldn't have pushed so hard to try to strive for such a quality publication, you know, 
they could have put something out, but, um, you know, people want money these days. I'm sure there's people who love to make things like this for free and put them out there, but it costs a lot of money and, you know, people, <laughs> and time. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. Um, I just, you know, you don't, even when you go searching Game Fan or Game Fan reissue or anything on YouTube, you don't see anything about this. There's nobody showing this magazine. So hopefully I get some information out there. And if any of you guys have any of these new Game Fan magazines that are post, you know, any of the whatever, seven or issues or so <laughs> after um, August of 2000, after April, starting April 2010, let me know. I'd like to uh, see some of those. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And I'll let you know if I find any prices on this or not, but, um, I like how, um, you know, books and things, it's hard to sell these these days. So they're, I, in my opinion, they're a good searching ground for rarities. A lot of the magazines and books I see that are sold these days hold their value or go from there or go up, you know, about 25% or so. A lot of these magazines like, um... For example, Retro Gamer, for instance, I don't know if I have that sitting here or not, but um, Retro Gamer, UK publication, it sells for $9.99, and then three, four months later, it's got a $15 value to them, it seems. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Barnes & Noble tomorrow, I'm going to see what's out there right now, see if there's any um, different kind of game magazines, and just take a look and let you know what I can find. So, alright guys, I'll see you later. Peace.